Ed in Milford, Connecticut. Hello, sir. Nice to have you on the EIB network. Hey, Rush. I just have two quick points. One, I thank God for Sarah Palin, and I hope she's listening, because what I want to say is I know in my heart we got the right person. When we can make these libs as angry as they are, that they will travel so far up to Alaska to sift through her trash that they'll try to take apart Joe the plumber and do whatever they can. And by the way, they still haven't found anything substantial on him or anything at all on Sarah. I know we got the right girl. I know it. I hope she's Stop. Around. Wait a second. Wait a second. Stop. A th what did you just say? You just said they haven't found anything substantial on him. Right. I mean, little things like uh, no, he's behind no. What, what, that this is how people in the Soviet Union used to talk in their bathrooms when they feared their houses were bugged. Yeah. Well, I mean, look at the, look at, look, no, wait, look at the way we are talking about this. Obama and the campaign trying to dig up dirt on Palin on Joe the plumber. They haven't found anything substantial. You think that's an exonerating statement? To me, it is an incriminating indictment indictment of who these people what do you mean they haven't found anything whose business is it of the obama campaign to find anything on joe the plumber my friends so the obama campaign hasn't found anything substantive on joe the plumber the fact that they are looking is an outrage is a private citizen folks i advise this once i want you to do this in the next week rent the movie lives of others about east germany in the 80s rent the movie lives of others to find out what happens what it's like when a government or a campaign keeps track of and investigates private citizens ed in milford connecticut hello sir nice to have you on the eib network hey rush I just have two quick points. One, I thank God for Sarah Palin, and I hope she's listening, because what I want to say is I know in my heart we got the right person. When we can make these libs as angry as they are, that they will travel so far up to Alaska to sift through her trash that they'll try to take apart Joe the plumber and do whatever they can. And by the way, they still haven't found anything substantial on him or anything at all on Sarah. I know we got the right girl. I know it. I hope she's Stop. around. Stop. Wait a second. Wait a second. Stop. A what did you just say? You just said they haven't found anything substantial on him. Right. I mean, little things like... Uh, no, behind no. What, what, that, this is how people in the Soviet Union used to talk in their bathrooms when they feared their houses were bugged. <laughs> yeah. Well, I mean, look, at the, look, at, look, no, wait, look at the way we are talking about this. Obama and the campaign trying to dig up dirt on Palin on Joe the plumber, they haven't found anything substantial. You think that's an exonerating statement. To me, it is an incriminating indict indictment of who these people, what do you mean they haven't found anything? Whose business is it of the Obama campaign to find anything on Joe the plumber, my friends? So the Obama campaign hasn't found anything substantive on Joe the plumber. The fact that they are looking is an outrage is a private citizen folks i advise this once i want you to do this in the next week rent the movie lives of others about east germany in the 80s rent the movie lives of others to find out what happens what it's like when a government or a campaign keeps track of and investigates private citizens ed, ed in milford connecticut hello sir nice to have you on the eib network Hey, Rush, I just have two quick points. One, I thank God for Sarah Palin, and I hope she's listening, because what I want to say is I know in my heart we got the right person. When we can make these libs as angry as they are, that they will travel so far up to Alaska to sift through her trash. Ed in Milford, Connecticut. Hello, sir. Nice to have you on the EIB network. Hey, Rush. I just have two quick points. One, I thank God for Sarah Palin, and I hope she's listening, because what I want to say is I know in my heart we got the right person. When we can make these libs as angry as they are, that they will travel so far up to Alaska to sift through her trash that they'll try to take apart Joe the plumber and do whatever they can. And by the way, they still haven't found anything substantial on him or anything at all on Sarah. I know we got the right girl. I know it. I hope she's Stop. around. Stop. Wait a second. Wait a second. Stop. A th what did you just say? You just said they haven't found anything substantial on him. 
Right. I mean, little things like uh, no, he's behind the, no, his what, what, that, this is how people in the Soviet Union used to talk in their bathrooms when they feared their houses were bugged. <laughs> yeah. Well, I mean, look at the, look, at, look, no, wait, look at the way we are talking about this. Obama and the campaign tried to dig up dirt on Palin on Joe the Plumber. They haven't found anything substantial. You think that's an exonerating statement. To me, it is an incriminating indict indictment of who these people... What do you mean they haven't found anything? Whose business is it of the Obama campaign to find anything on Joe the Plumber, my friends? So, the Obama campaign hasn't found anything substantive on Joe the Plumber. The fact that they are looking is an outrage as a private citizen. Folks, I advise this once. I want you to do this in the next week. Rent the movie, Lives of Others, about East Germany in the 80s. Rent the movie, Lives of Others, to find out what happens, what it's like when a government or a campaign keeps track of and investigates private citizens. Folks, I have to say, this is chilling to me. And it hadn't hit me until our last caller, who said they're investigating Palin, Obama investigating Palin and Joe the Plumber, and they haven't come up with anything substantive on Joe the Plumber. Now, who the hell are the Obama campaign to be investigating a private citizen? He is not part of the McCain campaign. He has had no relationship with John McCain over the years. John McCain never heard of Joe the Plumber until so Joe the Plumber asked the question of Barack Obama. Now, there are some very questionable people in Barack Obama's past that the drive-bys will not investigate, will not look into, will not tell us anything about, but yet we haven't, they haven't found anything substantive on Joe the Plumber. So you have media propaganda and investigations to help one party. Who the hell are they to be investigating a private citizen? That is an indictment of the Obama campaign and what it is and what it portends. They haven't found anything substantive on Joe the Plumber. Dot, 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 yet. But it won't stop them if they find nothing from maybe making something up, will it? What is happening to us? What, what is happening to our political system here? Average citizens targeted by a presidential campaign. And this average citizen asked a question. Made a fool and a buffoon out of the candidate by making the candidate open up and be honest about what he really plans to do. And now we've got now we've got Biden out there taking this campaign to the last place the Obama campaign wants it to be. Maybe General Powell you out there, Secretary Powell you listening? Maybe now that you've heard what Secretary or Senator Biden said that Obama is going to guarantee us a major crisis because he will be tested. McCain would not be tested. They know McCain. Biden, in effect, said this. Perhaps, General Powell, you can explain again why you support Obama and Biden. And maybe those who say that Sarah Palin's not qualified can explain to us again just how Biden is qualified. Not only is Biden a dunce, but he has been wrong on every foreign policy question of the last decade. Maybe General Powell can help us out here in understanding why it is that Sarah Palin's so unqualified and Joe Biden, a genuine dunce, who has taken this campaign to the last place it wants to be. General Powell, are you prepared to go out and campaign? I know you said you weren't going to campaign. Are you going to, are you going to prepare now to try to clean up this mess by telling us how qualified Obama is to deal with this test that's coming? By the way, General Powell, and a number of other things that he said about endorsing Obama, he said the Republican Party's getting too narrow. Did, did you catch that? He said the Republican Party is getting too narrow. 
Now, I, I'm beginning to wonder about Secretary Powell's powers of perception. That means the Republican Party is nothing but a right, bunch of right-wing extremists that he doesn't like. He doesn't like people that are against affirmative action, apparently. He doesn't like people who are pro-life, apparently. The Republican Party's getting too narrow. How many monologues have I given saying with McCain the Republican tent's too damn big? The Republican Party Secretary Powell has been out trying to attract people like you. And it hadn't hit me. Folks, I have to say, this is chilling to me. And it hadn't hit me until our last caller, who said they're investigating Palin, Obama investigating Palin and Joe the Plumber, and they haven't come up with anything substantive on Joe the Plumber. Now, who the hell are the Obama campaign to be investigating a private citizen? He is not part of the McCain campaign. He has had no relationship with John McCain over the years. John McCain never heard of Joe the Plumber until Joe the Plumber asked the question of Barack Obama. Now, there are some very questionable people in Barack Obama's past that the drive-bys will not investigate, will not look into, will not tell us anything about, but yet we haven't, they haven't found anything substantive on Joe the Plumber. So you have media propaganda and investigations to help one party. Who the hell are they to be investigating a private citizen? That is an indictment of the Obama campaign and what it is and what it portends. They haven't found anything substantive on Joe the Plumber. Dot, 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 yet. But it won't stop them if they find nothing from maybe making something up, will it? What is happening to us? What, what is happening to our political system here? Average citizens targeted by a presidential campaign. And this average citizen asked a question. Made a fool and a buffoon out of the candidate by making the candidate open up and be honest about what he really plans to do. And now we've got now we've got Biden out there taking this campaign to the last place the Obama campaign wants it to be. Maybe General Powell you out there, Secretary Powell you listening? Maybe now that you've heard what Secretary or Senator Biden said that Obama is going to guarantee us a major crisis because he will be tested. McCain would not be tested. They know McCain. Biden, in effect, said this. Perhaps, General Powell, you can explain again why you support Obama and Biden. And maybe those who say that Sarah Palin's not qualified can explain to us again just how Biden is qualified. Not only is Biden a dunce, but he has been wrong on every foreign policy question of the last decade. Maybe General Powell can help us out here in understanding why it is that Sarah Palin's so unqualified and Joe Biden, a genuine dunce, who has taken this campaign to the last place it wants to be. General Powell, are you prepared to go out and campaign? I know you said you weren't going to campaign. Are you going to are you going to prepared now to try to clean up this mess by telling us how qualified Obama is to deal with this test that's coming? By the way, General Powell and a number of other things that he said about endorsing Obama, he said the Republican Party is getting too narrow. Did, did you catch that? He said the Republican Party is getting too narrow. Now, I, I'm beginning to wonder about Secretary Powell's powers of perception. That means the Republican Party is nothing but a right, bunch of right-wing extremists that he doesn't like. He doesn't like people that 
or against affirmative action, apparently. He doesn't like people who are pro-life, apparently. The Republican Party's getting too narrow. How many monologues have I given saying with McCain the Republican tent's too damn big? The Republican Party Secretary Powell has been out trying to attract people like you.